my channel if you have not like and subscribe the channel please like and subscribe the channel in this video i am going to say you how you can control your driver updates how you can push the driver updates for your windows 10 or 11 devices so this is microsoft intune portal and if you just scroll down you will see under the policy you will see all these update rings feature update quality update and you see here it's a driver update right so maybe if you are managing windows machine and this is only for windows machine right <laughs> you can only uh, manage your driver or push the driver updates from microsoft intune earlier this was actually not possible or very difficult it was there but now it's they have made easy how you can create the policy so in this in this video i'm going to say you how you can create a policy how you can uh, automatic update the drivers seamlessly okay so you have to click on here and you have to click on profile right create new profile and just i'm just giving any name you can give as for your choice or naming convention you okay so windows driver updates okay you can give any descriptions click on next in the settings you see here inventory can take up to 24 hours to populate after the policies assigned greater okay so don't expect that as soon as you update the driver right because or the uh, the driver will get updated uh, you have to wait 24 hours to populate the uh, or, or the data will be available in the tune so you see the select the policy approval and deployment setting choose to set up a policy to approve and deploy updates automatically or manually so there is two update right that the approval method cannot be changed once a policy is created so make sure once your policy create then the approval method won't change but changes to the individual driver approval and deployment detail will be possible once the inventory once a inventory is built for a assigned devices so make sure you read this line very carefully and row so this approval method cannot be changed once a policy is created but the changes to individual driver approval and deployment details will be possible once an inventory is built for the assigned devices okay but read twice thrice until you understand so, so approval method manually approve of course if you want to automatically approve all the recommended driver updates you can always do but i am selecting manually i prefer to manually but it depends on your choice so manually approve and deploy select next you see here add groups you can assign to the groups and deploy it okay let me go and i can automatically select make update available after how many days if you want to test on some machine you can manually update or automatically approve so you can put any name here any any date here it will be in the five days or seven days or six days whatever day but i i don't prefer automatically none of the admin i think can but yeah if you have a requirement to automatically approve all the recommended driver you can select it here okay and put the date five days or seven days and then click on next and you can assign to the groups members you see here you can't assign to all the devices or all users you have to select the groups here right so since i don't have any groups created so you see there is only groups there is no all devices nothing is there right so you have to assign to the groups make sure you have groups unfortunately i don't have created uh, before this but yeah you can always go and create uh, within a second it, it doesn't make it take much time okay and then assign this to to your devices and if you want to modify it or if you want i can create it quickly for you okay let me quickly create for you okay okay duplicate uh, we'll go to groups here i will made video how you can create a groups dynamic groups new groups okay security groups of course i'll create windows devices all windows devices okay assign dynamic devices dynamic users whatever you want to do or assign okay no member let me select one member or anyone okay users i'm selecting this one okay but i would prefer to the dynamic group so that you can define it 
so I'm just selected manually for just for the tasting you see it will reflect in few seconds okay successfully created okay now you go to the groups you see all windows devices it's reflected click next and just you see one user i have is it click on next great yeah it's, it's automatically approved driver updates it's giving some error but yeah don't worry it will be success not sure why okay but yeah this is how you can actually create a driver updates as soon i mean manually or automatically whatever your choice depend on your requirement and kit this is how you can be expert of patching your driver through microsoft intune this is nice nice to try this okay till then thank you have a good day bye bye take care